Welcome, KSL Gang. Welcome KSL gang. Today we're going to be reviewing Satin Slippers Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. This is in a collection with Ballet Nights and Pink Suede. I tried to get Ballet Nights early but they only had the body cream but I do see it's online now. And also Pink Suede. I wasn't in a rush to get that one because I did get that one and review it last year but of course I'll pick it up to compare them. Okay let's jump in. The notes are White Rose dreamy jasmine and airy musk this one opens up to a medium to a medium strong strength the rose is not super heavy it's more so surrounded by the sweet airy aroma from the jasmine which is clean and a light sweetness the airy musk brings in more clean and freshness but also a hint of powder it has a comforting and calming feel to it which can be a great fragrance to use for a self-care day or a nighttime scent or even like an everyday wear it's not overbearing but more subtle on a complete dry down the projection on it mm, it was okay i got it for about an hour for my arm length but then again i wasn't spraying heavy and of course i didn't have all the added creams oils to it so that can play a role also i like to test out a fragrance without adding anything to it first to see what it can do on its own and this one is pretty decent if you love a clean and fresh slightly scented rose fragrance you can enjoy it. Speaking of rose, if you take a look at the rose fragrance from Bath & Body Works, these two are pretty much the same. But I am going to say satin slippers, it's more sharp and bright. And rose, it still has that floral and clean, but it is a bit more creamy on the complete dry down. But other than that, they are identical or just super, super close. So what I did to rose to see can I get it closer to satin slippers, I actually added Added indigo dreams and when I first reviewed indigo dreams that one was so light I really couldn't get anything but now that it has set for I think over a year now I can actually get a scent to it crazy but that's normal so when I pair rose and indigo dreams it smelled a little bit more like satin slippers which is weird right because indigo dreams have totally different notes the last empower was around three hours then it was a skin scent so when you add all the oils and creams then you should get a long decent lasting power it's not a bad scent it's just when you have a big collection and when you're trying new things likely you're going to smell a new fragrance within your collection I don't think I'll get the cream or lotion to this because I have a lot of different fresh and floral lotions that would pair nicely with it. Next I want to share five fragrances I have tried with satin slippers. First up we have Bumshell Isle. Bumshell Isle it is light and airy and fresh but it also has a nice sweetness to it. I thought that brought in a really nice touch and that creamy coconut smelled absolutely amazing with all the fresh and florals and satin slippers. Next we have Bath and Body Works Midnight Blue Citrus and the added citrus to satin slippers it worked out really nice. It gave it a really nice brightness to it but still kept it clean and fresh. Next we have Bath and Body Works Magic in the Air which we haven't seen in a while. That one also has these floral notes but it also has nutty notes and creamy notes like almond, vanilla and bourbon and sandalwood. It brought in a little extra floral and with that nuttiness and vanilla and a woody creaminess from the sandalwood you can play with a lot of different notes with satin slippers. Next we brought in Coach Wild Rose which is one of my favorite rose fragrances. This just smells like the perfect perfume to pair with satin slippers. I mean yes they do have the rose note but they complement each other so good. But it brought in a juicy sweetness from the red currant and also a woody note that they just balance each other out. The last one I tried is the new Bombshell from Victoria's Secret Glamour. And that one you know that's that sparkling type of fest festive, juicy, sweet, but also woody and floral. Brought in a nice 
sweetness to it that smells amazing and satin slippers it does have a perfumey vibe to it it's just a nice subtle fragrance but not anything i can see myself stocking up on so let me know will you be trying this out even if you have rose i know some people might ask if i have rose should i get this one i'm gonna say give it a try because even though they have practically the same notes they could still smell different to you but see to me satin slippers is a bit more sharp clean and fresher than rose and rose is still a clean scent but it has that creaminess to it that satin slippers don't so let me know if you're going to be picking this up or you think you'll pass on it if you haven't not already subscribe and join the ksl game thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Hey KSL gang, if you love cooking and watching cooking videos and super easy recipes, make sure you check out my main channel in Kiki's Kitchen. I'll see you over there.